Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Studio Production, who are from South Coast Chapter. Uh, we are very excited to have you here. As you can see, there's going to be programs in your seats, so make sure that you follow the program throughout the night. And before we begin, we want to let you know that all recipients are going to receive a glass pillar, as you can see it over there on the table. Once you receive it, please take it back to the table so you can get your award. Uh, Carla's going to be giving it out today. So our region is really well, thank you. Our region is really well rep represented here. We have Louisiana, Tampa, St. Petersburg, Orlando, Daytona, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Puerto Rico. So we welcome you to the first annual Student Production Awards presented by the Suncoast Chapter of the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences. I'm Sarah Landman. And I'm Victor Fernandez. As co-chairs of the Student Productions Awards, Sarah and I would like are pleased to welcome you to today's inaugural award presentation, recognizing some of the top young writers, producers, directors, reporters, and other upcoming uh, through the great education institutions in our region. So all Suncoast Student Production Award entries are judged against a standard of excellence, not against each other. There may be one recipient, more than one recipient, or no recipient in a given category. So you may notice that there may be occasions in which there are nominees, but no winners. For winning entries this afternoon, a class pillar will be awarded. The pillar will go to the college, university, or high school from where it was submitted. Each student involved in production will receive a certificate. At the end of the award presentation, certificate will be available for pickup either by the advisor or the per person designated by the advisor. It is imperative to note that the regional NADA's high school recipients will automatically be advanced to the national competition. And we are live streaming today's show so our camera's positioned directly in the center of the auditorium. So as you come down, just make sure, be aware that you're not blocking the camera. And we also ask that our recipients make their way down as your clip is playing. If there are multiple student name in the winning entry, we invite the group to come up and accept the award, but we ask that only one person be designated to speak on behalf of the group. And in the interest of time, we ask to keep the speech brief and to no more than 15 seconds. To be sure that you have fun on social media, please tag us at hashtag Suncoast SP Awards. And please join us in welcoming the president of the Suncoast chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Emmy Award winning executive producer and director, Mr. John Mays. Good afternoon. And welcome to the first Suncoast Student Production Awards. I'd like to start out by saying how much we appreciate the support we've received from the University of Miami, so thank you for hosting us today. The purpose of the Student Production Awards is to recognize outstanding student achievements production by awarding excellence in our region. The presentation of these awards is intended to be an incentive to continue pursuit of excellence those, by those studying media and journalism and to focus on the attention and outstanding production achievements by students ranging from high school to undergraduate college students. In addition, the Suncoast chapter proudly provides financial support for those college and high school seniors by granting scholarships. And this year, we've been fortunate enough to be able to award over $92,000 in scholarships. And we awarded them to 24 students, and some of those are here this afternoon. So congratulations. It is through the dedication and support of your teachers and advisors that you're able to achieve excellence. And a part of reason you are here, and we are celebrating your nomination today. So we would like to ask all teachers and advisors please to stand up to be recognized. So 
but finally, it's also important to remember to be nominated is also a great honor. So congratulations to all the nominees. Now, <laughs> now before I introduce this single guest from the University of Miami's Communication School, we'd like to play a short video. So UMTV to me has been another family, second home for me. UMTV is the reason I came to University of Miami. When I was on my tour, I toured the comm school and I saw there was a program called Off the Wire and I, everywhere else I went in the country, I wanted to go into political comedy coming out of high school and I couldn't find a similar program anywhere in the country and I thought I have to come to this school and so obviously I joined UMTV, that's what I wanted to do. I decided to join UMTV because I knew I wanted to join this industry in the future and there's no better way to start working on it than right now. I was so happy to be part of UMTV because I get to meet people that I never would have met if I wouldn't have participated in UMTV. So for me, I guess UMTV is kind of like a family, yeah. This is really a great safe space to cultivate your talent and to learn how to really work and move in this industry. UMTV offers a real diverse range of not only shows, but also the student body. We encourage anyone and everyone to get involved. It doesn't have to only be comm students. Students from all over the university are welcome. We have shows that are serious and shows that are more playful, such as Self the Wire, and shows that deal with entertainment, and shows that deal with sports and news and um, um, Spanish-speaking shows. So there is a little bit for everybody if they want to really be a part of it, to fit in who they want to be and who they are. When I came here and I went to the general body meeting, I saw the videos and I saw how happy the executive producers were and how willing they were to work and to create. I really felt like this was a safe environment to grow and to cultivate my talents that I felt like I wouldn't get anywhere else or that I couldn't really do on my own. We're staying like, up to date with the best equipment. So when we work with stuff here, when we graduate, it'll be the same equipment we're using most of our jobs we'd be going into. So it's really helpful for the workplace in the future. What I like the most about UMTV is that you can start as soon as freshman year and work your way up. You can even start as an anchor as early on as freshman year. We provide training. We'll help anybody out who wants to be part of the show and really learn what it takes to put a show on the air. And when I first came in, I auditioned for Sports Desk, and I was an anchor on Sports Desk, and I immediately just started learning all these new things, and all the experience was great, so that just like, fueled me to keep going in UMTV. My advice to every student is to get involved in UMTV. Please join me in welcoming the University of Miami School of Communication Associate Professor and Vice Dean Academic Affairs, Dr. Paul Driscoll. Thank you so much and welcome to the University of Miami. We're just delighted to have you here today. Um, if you haven't had a chance to see some of our facilities, I hope you'll be able to do so this afternoon. Um, the Suncoast chapter of the uh, National Academy of Television, Arts and Sciences has been a great friend to the School of Communication and our students for many, many decades. Um, today we're here to celebrate the best, acknowledge the best student work in uh, journalism and in other uh, TV content creation areas in the southeastern United States and Puerto Rico. I know what that's, uh, I know that's what you're waiting for, so I'll be mercifully brief, which uh, is very hard for a college professor to do. Um, <laughs> even that I'm using a script seems very uh, unusual because normally I'm in this classroom teaching without notes. Um, the Chinese have a so-called curse saying, may you live in interesting times, and indeed, uh, we are living in interesting times times where there are uh, some danger and certainly a great deal of uncertainty uh, going on in 
uh, the press and mass media, but it is also the most creative time uh, in the history of mankind, and the opportunities uh, are limitless. Um, so, you know, at its core, creation is the communication of meaning. And today we're here to celebrate the very best in journalism and other forms of media content that have served to enlighten our communities. So um, welcome to UM. We are absolutely delighted to have you here. And good luck. Thank you, Dr. Driscoll. Now let's honor our Student Production Award recipients. Our first two presenters know a lot about news coverage and spending their days working in Channel 7, a leader in local news. Please join us in welcoming Andrew Dimbert, reporter, WSBN Channel 7 News. Andrew is also a UM alum. And he's joined by, a walk, uh, sorry, he's joined by a longtime as WSBN news anchor and host and widely popular entertainment program, Deco Drive, Lynn Martinez. wanted to go back to college. Oh, you're back home. Man, I got to tell you, I'm so impressed with everybody here. I just want to say really, really quick that, you know, when they say, oh, it's a pleasure to be nominated. It's an honor. It truly is. You guys are the future. You are going to make an imprint. You're going to be writers, directors, reporters, producers, anchors, storytellers. You are our future. So good luck. We're excited to watch all of you grow. This is such a tiny little mic. Um, okay, so I gotta read some words. Uh, being assigned stories that involve very serious subject matter is difficult for students and media professionals alike. It's difficult for anybody, but it's also a great way for young journalists to show you know, that they can step up to the challenge. With that said, our first category this afternoon is category two, news, general assignment, serious news. And the nominees are Parkland Survivors, University of Miami, UMTV. Tent City, 100 Days After Michael, University of Florida, WFT News, Gainesville, Florida. You guys excited? And the Student Production Award goes to Tent City, 100 Days After Michael, <laughs> Mackenzie Bem. Advisor Gary Green, University of Florida, WFTV News, Gainesville, Florida. Congratulations. This is home. Trust me, this is home. It's home until you could get a mansion, I would say. The pastor to me was selling your dreams also. He's doing this for you and he's doing that for you, but I don't think he really wanted. I think he wanted us done. Congratulations. Unfortunately, which I cannot believe, uh, they were not able to join us this afternoon. I'm sure it was some big deal, okay? Congratulations to the recipients. We'll mail your award. <laughs> and the next category is Category 14, College Public Affairs Community Service. We have one nominee, and that nominee is also the winner. Yeah, you're happy. And the Student Production Award goes to Tiempo de Pensar, Gabriela Montavo Gonzalez, Giovanni Hernandez Santos, Nicole L. Rivera Pabon, Anthony Caceres, Aquino, Sabian Garcia Acevedo, and advisor Jose Antonio Fonseca, Universidad de Puerto Rico, and Arcebro, Arcebro, Puerto Rico. Somos entre los 15 municipios más afectados a nivel de, de todo Puerto Rico. Hi, I'm going to speak in Spanish because we are from Puerto Rico. Um, estamos bien contentos de representar a la Universidad de Puerto Rico en Arecibo. Para nosotros es un honor ¿verdad? haber tenido 
la preparación con nuestros profesores y la que nos ha brindado la universidad. Queremos darle las gracias al honorable alcalde de Vega Baja, Marcos Cruz, y a nuestro compañero Will Nieves, los cuales hicieron este documental posible con su participación. Gracias. And our next award is in category three, college news general assignment, light news. Like the last category, we had one nominee, and that nominee is also a recipient. And the student production award goes to An Archer Overcomes by Meredith Sheldon. And advisor Harrison Hove, University of Florida, WUF-TV News, Gainesville, Florida. Oh, I want to win. I want to. I want to play. I want to. I want to do something amazing because I got to. I've come this far. This one-armed archer keeps shooting for the stars. This is just me. This is just what. I'm, this is my part of my journey. I'm, I'm living, but I really hope it it can touch or inspire someone else to live their life. Life is for the living, and I'm living. And regrettably, they couldn't join us this afternoon, but congratulations. I want to see the whole, uh, the whole thing. Maybe next year we can do it differently, the extended version. All right, we're now switching gears to high school. So many accomplished kids in high school. We heard many of you recently turned, uh, returned from the stu Student Television Network Convention in Seattle. I actually just moved back home from the Pacific Northwest, so... Uh, I guess all that energy comes from all those Starbucks in Seattle. <laughs> I just skipped to here. We, yeah. we, we talked about this. We're like, we're going to ad lib. No, we're not. We're going to ad lib. We're not gonna... OK, congratulations to Rules for Girls, Molly Smith and Allison Fitzgerald. And advisor Jim Searney, Montverde Academy, Montverde, Florida, which I just learned is Central Florida. Yeah. So congratulations. A good girl always knows her place. Red lady knows her place is in the home. Yeah, right. Impossible is nothing. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to win this award. Um, I just want to thank my advisor, Mr. Sini. Um, he came into our school when, uh, this year, in the middle of the year, actually our last teacher left, and he stepped in and is doing an amazing job in our program, so I just want to thank him. Congratulations. All right, next up is category four, high school arts and entertainment and cultural affairs. And the nominees are Umbrella Sky, Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live, Miami, Florida. DPHS Diversity, Dr. Phillips High School, Orlando, Florida. Gallery Night, St. Brennan High School, Miami, Florida. And the Student Production Award goes to Umbrella Sky, Thomas Pozo. Gianmarco Mastri and, Car and Carson Gonzalez. Christina Insua and Omar Delgado. And Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live, down here in Miami, Florida. The Umbrella Sky Project made its South Florida debut at the Geraldo Plaza. Umbrella Sky Coral Gables is a public art installation, an installation of 720 colorful umbrellas over Geraldo Plaza for the next 60 days. And it was the vision of a company, a creative design company in Portugal named Sex de Fera. First, I want to say I want to thank my advisors at CCNN Live. I love how much you guys put work for me and how hard you make me work. And it pays off. It really does. So thank you, guys. Hopefully we'll see you at the University of Miami soon. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, moving on to category 13, high school public service PSAs. There are four nominees in this category. Again, Christopher Columbus High School, active shooter video. 
Christopher Columbus High School's CCNN Live down here in Miami, Florida. Dear America, a film by Generation Z. Monteverde Academy, Monteverde, Florida. Fear Has No Place, American Heritage High School, Plantation, Florida. And Webb, Doral Academy Preparatory, Firebird TV, Doral, Florida. And so we actually have uh, multiple student production award recipients in this category, and the first one goes to, I'll let Lynn. I'm sorry, I like backed up, like whatever, yeah. But, yeah, the first one goes to uh, Webb, Lauren Bonnet. That also includes Aquiles Barreto. Uh, where are we? Are we here? Right. And Julia. And Julia, where? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, gosh. You're, you're such a good producer. Uh, and Julia Morales, advisors, William Verrett and Elaine Diaz. Doral Academy Preparatory, just hog this. Firebird TV, Doral, Florida. to thank our advisors and our fellow members and also um, just thank you for the opportunity. And in that same category, the next student production award in public service PSA goes to Fear Has No Place. <laughs> Jeremiah Bang, Ryan Loff, Bradley Brown, Declan Bryan, advisors Maria Molina, David Lamont, and Donovan Campbell, American Heritage High School. And the final student production award in public service PSAs goes to Dear America, a film by Generation Z, Molly Smith, Sage Croft, Allison Fitzgerald, and Elizabeth Busby, advisor Jim Searney, Montverde Academy, Montverde, Florida. Dear America, where have you been? You used to tell me stories of hope and bravery you used to tell me about the flag that's still there. One nation under God. You never come outside to play anymore. Mommy said it's because you're trying to keep out terrorists. What's a terrorist? Um, I'm, I'm very proud of this film, especially because of the impact we've been able to have on our community and online. We tried to put it out online as much as possible and we received um, a lot of amazing comments of people saying that this film has changed the way they see um, school violence and um, gun violence. So that was our goal for this film and we are very proud of this award. Thank you. Congratulations to all those recipients. And the next category is also in high school. It's category three, news, general assignment, light news. And the nominees are Cooking to Cultivate the Past, Christopher Columbus High School, and Shredding for a Shot, also from Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live. And the Student Production Award goes to Cooking to Cultivate the Past, David A. Perez. Alexander Somalian, Lucas Guerrera, Brent Becerra, advisors Christina Insua, Omar Delgado. Come up here, Christopher Columbus. Inspired by her Cuban roots, Eileen Andrade was able to find her calling. 
I love food. Uh, growing up, for me, food was probably the most important thing <laughs> um, in the day. So my grandmother used to cook for me all the time. My grandfather loved to cook as well. I've been surrounded by food my whole life. I've been surrounded by chefs my whole life. I just want to say thank you to our two amazing teachers, Mr. Bogot and Ms. Nsua, for pushing us to, for, to do everything and believing in us when we sometimes have doubted ourselves, but they've always been there. So I just want to say thank you to them for everything. So thank you. All right, switching back to college, our next category is Category 12, Sports Program, College Sports Program. And the nominees are Sports Desk, University of Miami, UMTV, and also Sports Desk, <laughs> University of Miami. Did you read this one already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so you did both. All right. And the Student Production Award goes to <laughs> Sports Desk, Amanda Fuentes, Valerie Ferrante, and Luis Gonzalez, Advisor Edward Juice. University of Miami, UMTV, Miami, Florida. Tonight on Sports Desk, the inside pitch crew hits up Mark Lightfield to talk about what has been plaguing Jim Morris's final season. And from one coach with a track record of success to another one trying to build a legacy, we meet first year coach Sarah Barnes. But Isaiah, I'm going to toss the ball over to you on this next story. You're a little off on that one, but these players know exactly how to hit it. really big honor for us but um, you know sports this is not just us three it's so many people that are behind this production so we'd like to thank our student crew that starts with our amazing associate producers um, we'd like to thank our engineers that support us um, our professors our mentors um, but you know especially we'd like to thank our faculty advisor professor Ed Julby he is just as passionate about sports as, as we are and he puts his heart and soul into it every Friday so uh, without him this would not be possible thank you so much Continuing on in college, we now move on to category eight, long form fiction. We have one nominee who is also the winner. The Student Production Award goes to Model Tarfly 88, William Sanchez, Daniela Arroyo, advisor, Joshua Ellis, Miami Day College, Miami, Florida. Amanda? Amanda! Wow, this is really cool. Um, we'd like to thank uh, Joshua Ellis, our advisor, and also our professor for giving us this awesome opportunity, as well as the School of Entertainment and Design at Miami Dade College. and. Um, as well the amazing crew that we had. It was a really awesome experience and we never thought we'd get this far. And the final category we have the pleasure of nominating is category six, college, short form fiction. The nominees are Por Ti, Universidad del, uh, oh this is Puerto Rico, Sagrado Corazón, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Leak. Full Sail University, Winter Park, Florida. And the award goes to Leak, Winter Park, uni uh, full, excuse me, Full Sail University, Winter Park, Florida. Gabrielle Ingligeta, I'm, I'm, I can't do that. Yeah, you did right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nicholas Diaz, Valerie Valencia, and Jesus Olmedo. And the advisor, Jennifer Jarvis, uh, Full Sail University, Winter Park, Florida. Congratulations. Jarvis, my advisor, Suncoast, and my whole team. And I 
appreciate everything that this film has gotten me like from around the world to different film festivals, so thank you. Congratulations to all those winners. Thanks, guys, for having us. Thank you so much, Lynn and Andrew. All right, please join me in what, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Please join me in welcoming NBC Chief Meteorologist John Morales and reporter Stephanie Bartini, our next presenters. Hi guys, so excited to be here. Just finding our spot. Great to be here. By the way, a lot of talent in this room. I'm very impressed. Uh, and thanks to those that traveled from uh, near and far to be here this afternoon, particularly the gente de Puerto Rico. <laughs> Felicidades. All and right. uh, as some of them know, John, uh, I come to this school. Some of these students are actually in my classes. That's so it's exciting to be here with you guys today, this afternoon, for sure. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. All right, so they say it takes a village to raise a child, but it takes a great team to produce quality sports programming at any level. Next is category 10, high school sports. There are two nominations in this category, and the nominees are Coach DQ, Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live, Miami, Florida, and Master Valerie, also from Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live. And the award goes to Coach DQ. <laughs> Alexandra Sumelian. Lucas Guerra, Kevin Reyes, Marcus Calajari, Benjamin Cure, Stephen Lees, Joseph Gonzalez, Joseph Fernandez, Christopher Gomez, and David Perez with advisors uh, Cristina Insua, Omar Delgado from Christopher Col Columbus High School, CCCN Live. It's a whole army. Cross country runners build strength and stamina through training and a diligent work ethic. But Danny Quesada, more affectionately known as DQ, builds his strength from the monster within. In middle school and elementary school, really didn't pay any attention to my all those. Thank you. Well, um, before I begin, I just want to thank my advisors, Christina Insu and Omar Delgado. You guys push me every day, and I couldn't be more lucky to be one of your students. But something that I just want to say is that this is probably my favorite story that I've ever been lucky to be a part of at CCNN. And I'm just truly humbled that it's gotten this recognition and I'm so happy that I was a part of it. Thank you. And that's not the only winner in this category. The second student production award goes to Master Valerie, Alexandra Somillian, <laughs> Joseph Fernandez, Stephen Lee, Lucas Guerra, and Kevin Reyes. Advisors Christina Insua and Omar Delgado, Christopher Columbus High School. Beautiful and young may be words you'd expect to describe a girl like Valerie Loretta, but what lies beneath the surface is much more powerful than any expectation. I was basically born on a taekwondo mat, so I had no other option. And the last 17 years, I've never stopped fighting. Um, it's in my blood, and ever since that day, I've, I've never stopped loving it. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to Ms. Christina Intua and Mr. Omar Delgado for the opportunity to tell this story. Uh, uh, like he said, this is probably one of my favorite stories. Uh, it was truly an experience because it wasn't in a week that we did this. It was a couple of months, and uh, just following this one incredible person around was truly, truly an experience. And uh, thank you to them for that opportunity. Thank you. Congratulations. Next is Category 5, High School Music Videos. And we have two nominees. They are Dreamcatcher, West Broward High School, West Broward TV, and Pembroke Pines. 
and never-ending mess from H.W. Blake School for the Arts, Blake TV and Film Department in Tampa, Florida. And the Student Production Award goes to Dreamcatcher, Emma Gillian, Brandon Vasquez, Alex Gutierrez, and Emily Sanchez, Advisor Chuck Rivera, West Broward High School, West Broward TV, Pembroke Pines, Florida. Dream catcher sticking for the silver screen, my mind's protector. So quiet. Dream catcher, please another take my dreams and make them better. Thank you guys so much. This is a huge honor and we really had a blast filming this video and we'd also like to give a special thank you to our advisors, Mr. Vera and Ms. Tester. Continuing on in high school, next is category six, short form fiction. We have one nomination and that is also a student production award recipient. And the award goes to, I don't know, Molly Smith, I, actually, I do know, but that's the title. <laughs> Molly Smith, Allison Fitzgerald, and Elizabeth Busby, advisor Jim Cini, Monteverde Academy, Monteverde, Florida. Thank you to, um, again, my advisor, Mr. Sini. He's very, very smart and super talented, and he's taught me so much this year. Um, and also, especially in this film, I wanted to thank um, the actor, Samuel Hunter, who played um, the main character that you saw there. He's incredibly talented, and he really brought this film to life. Thank you. All right, now on to uh, category eight, high school long form fiction. Uh, there is one nominee, and that nominee is a Student Production Award recipient. Congratulations to Art of Our Odds, Chris Marks, Esteve Palafox, Rachel Cohen, Isaiah Fernandez, Josh Letterberger, Haley Todd, and Sebastian Fernandez, advisor Chuck Rivera, West Broward High, West Broward TV, Pembroke Pie. <laughs> for this award. I couldn't have done it without the help of my peers, um, my teachers, and, and everyone else that you know helped us make this. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so the next category is category nine, high school long form nonfiction. Uh, we have one nominee, and that nominee is also a student production award recipient. And the winner is Zakari Kosker, Alexa, Zakaram and Christopher Cahill, advisor Eric Gardner, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, Parkland, Florida. Thank you to our advisor, Eric Garner, who couldn't be here today, but he really motivated us two weeks after the incident at our, at our school to get back working and do this documentary. Thank you. All right, so we mentioned earlier about uh, needing to work as a team, but behind every team, there are some individuals who are able to turn a project from good to great. 
The next group of awards are for College Craft. In category 20, College Photographer, we have one nominee, and that nominee is also a Student Production Award recipient. So congratulations to Selfish, Eduard Gabriel Rivera, with uh, advisor Ed Andrew Hernandez, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Voy a ir por la noche a tu casa y tengo que contar algo. So congratulations to them. They weren't able to join us, but nevertheless, great work. All right, so then we'll move on to category 17, college, audio sound. We do have two nominees, Perpetua from Atlantic University College in Guaynabo, Puerto Rico, and Resonancia, also from Atlantic University College in Guaynabo. And the award goes to Jose Rodriguez, advisor, Andrew Hernandez, Atlantic University College, it's Resonancia. Is that right, John? Resonancia. So, so they're, they're unable to join us this afternoon, but congratulations nonetheless. Up next is category 18, college director, and we have two nominees. Forget Me Not, Miami-Dade College here in Miami, Florida, and Selfish Atlantic University College, Guaynabo PR, Puerto Rico. Unfortunately, we have no winner in this category. So congratulations to the nominees. Still in the college categories, we now move on to category 21, talent. And we have two nominations, Meredith Sheldon, a talent reel from the University of Florida, WUFT News in Gainesville, and Dylan Domang, did I pronounce that right, or Domang? Domain, thank you. Uh, his talent composite tape from Southeastern Louisiana University, the Southeastern Channel in Hammond, Louisiana. And the Student Production Award goes to Meredith Sheldon for her talent reel, Meredith Sheldon, advisor Harrison Hove, University of Florida, WUFT News, Gainesville, Florida. I'm Meredith Sheldon. At the top of the hour, we'll return our Channel 5 viewers to the nonstop news hour coverage, but we'll continue on with much more state and local results on Facebook Live. CVS recently announced its plan to buy one of the largest health insurers in the country. Now let's take a look at some other races for the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, unfortunately, they are not able to join us this afternoon, but our congratulations to them. The next College Craft Award is in category 22, Writing, and we have two nominees. Inshallah from Full Sail University, Winter Park, Florida, and Selfish from Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. And the Student Production Award goes to Derek Acosta well, for Selfish. Uh, advisor is Andrew Hernandez, Atlantic University College in Guaynabo. What do you do? ¿Para qué tú quieres tener eso? ¿Y Ricky qué, qué dijo de todo esto? Ay, no se lo he dicho. Y creo que es una sorpresa. And they were not able to join us this afternoon, but congratulations to them. I, I heard a couple of coquis on that uh, on that tape. Well, not everybody knows what a cookie is, sorry. Uh, anyway, changing gears back to craft awards for high school. Our next award is in category 20, photographer. Uh, we have one nominee, and they're also a student production award recipient. The award goes to Brandon Woods for the photography <laughs> reel. Advisor Maria Molina, American Heritage School, WAHS News, Plantation, Florida. 
Next category, uh, it's uh, the craft category, which is category 22 uh, for high school writing. And we have one nominee, and they're also a student production award recipient. And the winner is Molly Smith for the Writing Real Molly Smith Advisor, Jim Cini, Montverde Academy, Montverde, Florida. Dear America, my school had its first lockdown. We were told to hide in the corner, silent. Waiting for the attacker through a thin wall. Why do we wait in the shadows? Why do we wait to be shot? Dear America, how many final texts will students have to send to their parents under a desk for us to be safe again? Um, all my advisors and teachers I've ever had have always told me that um, writing is one of the most important things because everything starts with story. And um, I'm really honored to win this award, but I've also really loved meeting all the amazing storytellers here and other festivals and events like this. I think this is a great way for us to meet each other and help each other out in the future because we are going to be the next generation of storytellers and I'm very excited about that. Next is category 19, high school editor. We have one nominee and they're also a student production award recipient. So the award goes to Ellipsis, <laughs> Dylan Vento, Deborah Sargen, Carolyn Arias, Lucy Logan, and advisors uh, Jimmy Viret and Elaine Diaz from Doral Academy Prep, Firebird TV in Doral, Florida. Oyeme, Arturo Amadeus Cortez. This is it. This is what you've practiced so long for. Hi, I, I, I just want to thank uh, you guys. I want to thank the content creators, the filmmakers out here, um, because I think we should use this medium to send a message, and that's what I do with my pieces, and I really look up to a lot of you, especially you guys at Monverde, Monverde Academy. Molly, I think is your name. You guys are great. Keep it up, thank you. <laughs> the final high school craft award for John and I to present this afternoon is in category 18, director. The nominees are Western Reggae, Dural Academy Preparatory, Firebird TV, Dural, Florida, and The Camera, Christopher Columbus School, CCNN Live, Miami. And the student production award goes to the camera, Alex <laughs> Alexandra Somailan, advisor Cristina Insua, Omar Delgado, Christopher Columbus High School, CCCN Live. I came up with this idea one day with my teacher. Me and him were talking about, you know, new ideas for documentaries. And I talked to him and I'm like, hey, what if we do a documentary on, you know, sending a camera throughout the United States? So we, you know, called up our friends from different schools, Fort Mill, South Carolina, Geneva, when West Ranch High School, and we thought, why not send a T5I, one of our cameras, across the nation? Well, once again, thank you to our wonderful advisors and everyone that helped on this project, my parents as well. You guys really push me every day. Um, but one thing I really want to thank for this award is the other schools that participated, West Ranch High School, Geneva High School, and Fort Mill High School. I know they're not here, but they did a wonderful job, and I'm really proud of how this one documentary brought together four different schools that otherwise wouldn't you know, communicate in this world. So thank you so much, and I'm truly humbled to receive this award. Thank you so much, John and Stephanie. 
So our next two presenters are no strangers to local news. Please join me in welcoming Pam Giganti, host of Your South Florida on WPBT, South Florida PBS, and Alex Browning, from, reporter from WSBN Channel 7 News in Miami. When I co-anchored, I was on this side. I gotta be on this side. So great to be here and uh, excited to see so many people here who I know. Very impressed by all of the talent in this room. Before we continue, a round of applause for all of the, the nominees and all of the winners thus far. The future is definitely bright. All right, well, when referring to reporters, anchor, anchors, and on-camera personalities, they are often referred to as talent. Yes, and rightly so. That's because it takes a special type of personality to be able to present the story, be factually accurate, and be relatable to your audience all at the same time. All right, so the awards in category 21, high school talent, the nominees are Zach Dishinger, Demo Reel, American Heritage School, WAHS, News Plantation, Theodore, uh, I'm going to try this one, Rakak. Gus Kess, American Heritage School, WAHS News Plantation, and Mason Berger, Talent Reel, Pinecrest School, PCTV here in Fort, La or in Fort Lauderdale. All right. And the first award goes to Zach Dishinger, Demo Reel. Zachary Dishinger, Advisor, Maria Molina, American Heritage School, WAHS News Plantation, Florida. These two South Florida parents have been facing a challenge like few others, dealing with a rare illness affecting their young son, Sebastian, who's been in a fight for his life ever since he was a toddler. Fundraising for Hunter Syndrome may not be an easy journey, but Jennifer and Mario Estevez continue to work hard, helping children by being one in a million parents facing a one in a million challenge. Reporting for WHS News, Zach Dishinger. Hi. This award means so much to me because it represents all the work and um, all the passionate students that dedicate their high school career um, working themselves off um, to do broadcasting and, and TV because a lot of people don't realize how much work uh, we put into our passion. Uh, I would like to thank my advisors, uh, Ms. Maria Molina and Donovan Campbell and my amazing parents for not only driving me everywhere but also just being the amazing support system that I have. So thank you so much. And we have and we have another student production award, and that goes to Mason Berger, Talent Reel, Mason Berger, Advisor, Ashley Porter, and Jamie Rashbaum, Pinecrest School, PCTV in Fort Lauderdale. Good morning, Pinecrest. My name is Mason Berger, and welcome to another great year of PCTV. We have some very cool stuff in the works for you, starting with today's special on the primary elections. For many students, this is the first election they can vote in. PCTV's Gabrielle Coriati went to a local polling place to find out more about the power of the youth vote. Thank you. So I first want to thank my parents, of course. I also want to thank my friends and peers at Pinecrest who have always been so supportive of my on-camera work. And finally, I want to thank the teachers at PCTV, particularly Ms. Porter, who is here today. Thank you very much. He has a nice voice. <laughs> Easy to see why he won. All right, we have a third winner in this category. Congratulations to Theodore Rakowskis Real. Theodore Rakowskis, advisor, Maria Molina, American Heritage School, WAHS News, Plantation, Florida. Why is it that I can post a picture, reach hundreds of people with hundreds of likes, and still feel isolated? Shouldn't I be happy that I can send messages faster and further than any other time? New technology like social media apps promise to connect us with others, when in fact they really just connect us to our screens. I'd just like to thank everyone for this award, and especially my advisor, Ms. Molina, and especially Mr. Campbell. Um, you guys have helped me so much throughout all years that I've been in broadcast, and just thank you guys so much.
All right, now moving to college categories. Our next award is in category 19, editor. There are three nominees. Resonancia, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Selfish, again, Atlantic University College, and Perpetua, also from Atlantic University College. And we have multiple winners in this category. The first student production award goes to Selfish. Angel G. Nieves, advisor Andrew Hernandez, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Hola. And they're not with us this afternoon. Congratulations. I'm dying to see what happens in Selfish. We've got to post this somewhere so we can watch this. You need to get on that, Wayne. All right. Next. Our second student production award goes to Perpetua, Axel Diaz advisor, Andrew Hernandez, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Also not with, uh, with us this afternoon, congratulations. All right, next is category 16, college animation graphics special effects. We have four nominees in this category and they are Blown Away, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. Bloom, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, again. Jago Catches a Fish, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. And The Clocking Dream, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. And we have two winning entries. The first student production award goes to Bloom, Nisha Burgos Soto, advisor, Yamel Medina, Atlantic University College. Unfortunately, they are not with, uh, with us this afternoon. Congratulations again. All right, the next student production award goes to Jago Catches a Fish, Chris Christian Sanchez, advisor Yamil Medina, Atlantic University College, Guaynabo, Puerto Rico. And the recipients are not here this afternoon, but congratulations to them. All right, now turning to uh, the College of Craft Awards, to the ultimate in teamwork, the newscast. For category one, we have two nominees, News Vision, University of Miami, UMTV, and Life After Maria, University of Florida, WUFT News. And the student production award goes to Life After Maria. Sophia Millar, Dolores Hinckley, Laurel Biddy, Alexis Howard, Claudia Perez Brito, Giselle Garcia, Dainaria Feliciano, advisors, Dania Alexandrino, Gary Green, Harrison Hove, and Kathy Chambers, University of Florida, WUFT News, Gainesville, Florida. Life After Maria. Good evening, I'm Dolores Hinckley. And I'm Sophia Millar. WUFT-TV traveled to Puerto Rico while there our reporters learned firsthand what folks on the island are doing to move forward and the challenges they still face. Puerto Rico recently submitted a report to Congress stating it will take a around $139 billion to fully recover from Hurricane Maria. And unfortunately they were not able to join us this afternoon but congratulations to them. And back to high school, in category 12, sports program, there is one nominated entry, and that entry is also our award recipient. And the award goes to Columbus pregame show versus Coral Gables, Benjamin Cure, Alexander Ramos, Alexander Someyan, Christopher Gomez, Lucas Guerra, and Kevin Reyes, advisors, 
Christina Insua, and Omar Delgado, Christopher Columbus High School, CCN and Live Miami. That's a mouthful. Congratulations. And guys. what a game we have in store for you tonight. I truly believe the Explorers are the better team tonight. The Cavaliers are no pushover, especially when you're playing against a team that has nothing to lose. You better expect their very best. That's absolutely, absolutely true. You know, these teams both have speed and talent on the field. One of the more talented players on Cole Gable's side, as a matter of fact, being Kayvon Stewart, number seven, their best running back. I just want to say thank you very much for this award. Thank you to Mr. Delgado and Ms. Insua for pushing all of us, especially me throughout my four years, giving me the opportunity, the opportunity to be what I want and do what I want to do. Thank you. And in our next category, we turn back to teamwork and present the Student Production Award in Category 1, High School Newscast. Once again, we have one nominee, and that nominee is also our award recipient. And the award goes to The Voyage staff. Advisors, Christina Inswan, Omar Delgado, Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live, Miami. On Tuesday, a high-speed car chase on I-95 near Golden Blades ended in a crash. The chase began when Broward police got a report of a possible robbery near Fort Lauderdale. So the voyage was a brand new thing we decided to do this year and I'm really glad that we were able to receive this award for something we've done for the first time. I'd like to thank Mr. Delgado and Miss Insua for guiding me through this. Um, it was pretty hard to start off and obviously I'd like to Thank my uh, deputy executive producer, David Perez. <laughs> Thank you. And for our final category this afternoon, we will be presenting the Student Production Award for Category 7 High School Short Form Nonfiction. And the nominees are winner, Doral Academy Preparatory, Firebird TV Doral, hashtag B11 Strong, Oviedo High School, Oviedo, Raised on Croquetas, Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live. A Tree Keeps Thriving, American Heritage School of Boca del Rey, 909 Live. And Home, a documentary on Ronald McDonald House, Doral Academy Prep, Firebird TV. And the first student production award goes to B11 Strong, Nevada Cullen, and Cameron Moorefield, advisor Kevin Patterson, Oviedo High School, Oviedo, Florida. <laughs> Oh, that, I think that was the hardest part, is the diagnosis. Miss Blake told me that after, and it's absolutely the truth. It's shocking, actually, because you don't expect that's what the doctor's going to say to you. It was hard when we first got the news, um, but since then, the kind of attitude or emotion in the classroom has been, like, let's rally together, um, let's help our friends fight through this. And they're not with us this afternoon. Congratulations again. And our next student production award goes to Raised on Croquetas, David Perez, Alexander Somian, Lucas Guerra, and Brent Becerra. Advisors, Christina Insua and Omar Delgado, Christopher Columbus High School, CCNN Live. I think people are constantly buying croquetas because it's the Cuban power bar. Um, it's a quick grab and go. It has all the nutrients. It's fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside, so texture is delicious. And I think it's the perfect grab and go for any Cuban that is just in need of a pick me up cafecito and a quick bite. Uh, so um, I really want to say thank you to my teachers again for uh, pushing me to do this story. Um, it was a good fight. Um, but um, I'm very thankful. This is one of my favorite pieces. I don't know if you just saw me literally mouthing all the words she said because the amount of times I rewatched this and I re-edited it, I memorized all her answers and. I can recite the entire documentary if you want. And I'm also really thankful for my mother for push, for like just literally driving me around and for the support that she's always given me. Uh, and yeah, I'm thankful for these guys too. <laughs> Thank you. And the next and final student production award in this category goes to Home, a documentary on Ronald McDonald House. Clara Cal Calavia and Lauren Bonet, advisors William B. 
Virouette, and Elaine Diaz, Doral Academy Preparatory, Firebird TV, Doral, Florida. En una palabra, eh, un hogar muy acogedor para los que somos foráneos o de otro país o de otro sitio. Thank you. Um, I think just for this piece, being able to tell um, the people that stay in the Ronald McDonald House their stories was like the best part for us. Um, a lot of the kids, they go there and they never leave. So um, it's really important. And thank you guys. Thank you so much, Pam and Alex. So we hope you all enjoyed the show, and thank you again for joining us today. Please remember that if you are not a recipient, you're part of an extremely select few who've been nominated for a student production award. Before we go, we would like to once again thank uh, Dia Con uh, Contaxis and Dean Shepard and the University of Miami School of Communications team for going above and beyond to help us making this award ceremony a reality. Thanks also to the board members, uh, Barbara Alfonso and Richard Engelhart, uh, for volunteering, David Perez and Justin Stevens, our tour guides. We want to give special recognition to the Suncoast chapter who worked tirelessly behind the scenes to put together our first annual Student Production Award Ceremony. Please put your hands together for Carla and Wayne McDonald, <laughs> Stacey Panson, Debbie Penchel, John Mays, Matt Conover, and Michael Applebaum. And again, congratulations to all our nominees and recipients. We hope to see you again next year at our Student Production Awards. And don't forget to pick up your certificates and your, um, your pillars from Carla. I'm Sarah Landman. I'm Victor Fernandez. Have a great afternoon and drive home safe. Gabe.